Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. Uh, in the previous episode, we learned about how to set up the end progress bar so that when the new request comes in, we the user gets to know that uh, the request is being fulfilled. We get to see a progress bar on top. And in this video, we are going to learn about how to create the pagination. So the first thing we're going to do is We're going to go to pages and inside of blog, we'll create something called index.js. Okay. And then inside of this, I'm going to copy paste this code just to save time and then I'll explain it to you. Okay. We will import all of this uh, in some time, but just take a look of what's happening here. So we have a component called blog and then it's going to expect some data. So we're going to do get static props and then we're going to get the posts. So if you remember from the previous videos that we had written a query to get the post for the pagination. So we're going to do that. So we'll go to queries, say source and then queries. And then inside of the posts, where we have the get posts available, we're going to improvise this query. So I'm going to just, I'm going to open it up raw copy and then paste. Okay. So now we have get posts. And what we're doing over here is that we are first, we are getting the page. So page by URI, getting the ID title, content slug, URI, SEO fragment. And then we're getting the post where offset pagination is, where we're getting the offset pagination, the size and the offset, etc. Okay. And then we are getting the ID title excerpt, featured image node, and then image fragment. And we are also getting the page info which is going to help us get the total number of pages. Okay. And then we're just passing these information. We'll, we'll get to them in a moment. And then you also have the post count. So, uh, we are just doing posts and then page info offset pagination and then total. So if you put the query over here, it says posts and then offset pagination size equals 10 means that we want 10 posts per page offset null, which means give me zero to 10. And then you're just getting the ID title slug. Uh, you're getting the total number of posts and the post count also gives you that information. So if you hit it, uh, you get the 10 posts, Let me just close this one. And then you have this 30, 134 is the total number of posts, right? So you can see that we have 134 posts published, which is great. Okay. So this is our query. And then you also have the featured image and excerpt and all sort of stuff. And then we also need the image fragment. So let's create one. So we're going to go to fragments and then create a directory called image. And inside of this, we'll create index.js. We'll look for image fragment. Okay, here it is. I'm going to copy this, paste it here. So basically, we're saying fragment, image fragment on media item. And we have source URL, and then we also have the alt text. All right, so that's your fragment. And that's what we are pulling over here. And then we have the rest of the stuff like menu fragment, as your fragment, which we have already explained in the previous episodes. All right, and we'll still have the get post slugs here. Awesome. So that's that explains your query. And we're going to say that whenever a request comes to slash blog page, then go ahead and make a request to WordPress and get the posts uh, with the pagination information. Uh, we also have per page first. So this is a constant. Remember we used 10 earlier. So it's better to use a constant so that it's even if we have defined it throughout the site, we know that we can only change it at one place. We don't have to worry about any other places. 
So what we're going to do is we'll copy this one. We'll go to utils and then pagination.js. I'm going to in fact copy the whole set of functions here and I'm going to explain to you in a, in a moment as to what it does. So I'm going to copy the whole file and this file name is uh, pagination.js inside of utils. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to pagination. Uh, let's create one. So we'll say pagination.js. So I pasted that. So this has this constant. Uh, I would like to have nine posts per page. And then I, for the first one and for the rest of the pages, I want 12. So if you want, you can have the same number of posts for all of the pages, which is on the first page as well as on other pages. However, if you want to uh, have a different one, like on the first page you want 9 and on the other pages you want 12, you could do that. So we are going with that approach for now, but if you want to stick to just 9, you can do that just to let you know. Uh, we also have these functions, uh, get offset, uh, total pages count, create pagination links, uh, which I will explain to you in a moment when we get to that function, but just to let you know that we have set that up. Okay. So that's where the per page comes from. Uh, so just to clarify, instead of 10, we are saying nine over here. So for the first page, we want the nine, nine article, nine, nine posts. And then after that, we want 12. So this becomes offset nine and then 12 like this. Okay. Uh, initially, when the query goes to that particular page, uh, the first time the offset is null. Okay. Then we are setting the default prop types. Then we are setting the default props and we're just passing whatever data we're going to receive. And then we're also using the revalidate to ensure that a fresh request goes to WordPress and that updates the cache. And then we have the handle redirects and return data, which we created in the previous episodes where we have passing the default props, data errors, and the field called post, which should absolutely exist for this page to render. And over here, you're just redirecting to 503 if data is not present or a 404, etc. Okay, so that's that. And then inside of this, we are calling a function which calculates the total number of pages count. So for now, I'm going to just comment this out and just say hello over here and I'm going to comment this out as well just to show you what's happening here so I'm going to show you the data and let's go to slash blog let's do paragraph shall we hello okay so take a look so we have the footer uh, we have got the footer menu, the header, and then we have got the header menu. Uh, and what we're interested in is the posts. So this is the post that we have. So you can see we're getting nine posts and we're also getting the page information, which is 134. The best thing would be to actually uh, create a page called blog in WordPress. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say a page called blog. And I'm going to add that to the menu. In fact, you don't even need to add that. We can add that directly from the uh, front end menu itself because I'm assuming that blog page will always be there anyways, right? Okay, so now if you refresh, I should expect to see the page as well. So let's do that. There you go. You got the page, you've got the SEO and all of that information, which is great. Perfect. So you got the post for sure. And that says hello because that's what we've got. Now we need to get the total pages count. So how do we get that? Because you are, we are getting the, uh, so if you notice, we are actually getting the total number of posts, but how do we get the total number of pages? So for that, we've created a function called total pages count, which is inside of utils, inside of pagination. Uh, if I'm gonna say pages, count pages count and let's see what we get i'm going to go on to the front end and you see the pages count is 12 right 
So how do, how do we get that information? So first we are passing the uh, offset pagination total. So whatever total we got from here, which is 134. So how is this calculated? If you go to pagination, it says mat.seal. So as you can see, mat.seal basically rounds a number upward to its nearest integer. So in this case, if you are doing mat.seal 1.4, you should get two over here. So if you check it out, this is what you get. Okay, so that's the logic we're going to apply. So take a look, we're saying total number of posts uh, count, which is 134 minus per page first. So we'll say, let me open an Excel sheet. So total post count, in our case, total post count is 134 minus per page first, per page first is nine. So that makes a total of 134 minus nine, that's 125. And then uh, divide that by per page rest. So I'm going to divide the 125 by, so how many per page? So per page rest is basically uh, the number of posts required uh, per page from the second page onwards. So that's 12. So that makes a total of 10.4. And then we also want this to have one added to it. So if we add both of them, that makes a total of 11.4.1. And then if you use math.seal, we just took an example that if this is 11.441, then it's going to become 12. And that's the number of pages we have. And that makes sense because 12 multiplied by 11 is 132 and then plus two more on the last page. That's why there are 12 pages. Okay, awesome. So how do we get the maths, right? Uh, so that's that's how you get the total pages count and then what you do is you create posts so let's go ahead and do that we're going to create a component called posts so this is our component called posts. so I'm going to just open this in another window so we need to go to components block post and then index so let's create one so you've got components blog so we'll create a directory called blog and then posts and then inside of this we'll create index.js okay there you go and i'm just going to copy this and paste it here all right and then we also need the post so let's do that. I'm going to explain this to you in a moment. Uh, let's get the post also in place. So we're going to go back and get the post. So here is the post. Let's get this as well. Uh, I'm going to, this is inside of blog post and then index. So I'm going to go back again, blog, and then create another, another directory called post and then index and I'm just going to copy this piece of code and then I'll explain to you what that means all right there we go so starting from the block again we need to have the posts so let's uncomment this out and let's uncomment this oops and if you go back um, this is our component called post and of course we need the load ash as well so just Let's just add that to yawn, add load ash, let it run in the meanwhile. So inside of post, we pass the post basically. And so we already checked that we get the post in the data and we are just passing those posts over here, post.edges, post.edges. So if you see, we have got posts and then dot edges, and this is where we have all of the posts available, right? So that's what we're passing over here. And then now if you go to that posts, so this is the place we check if the post is available or not. If it is available, brilliant. Please continue. Otherwise, you know, return null if it's not an array or if it's not, if it doesn't exist. Inside of this, I'm looping through these posts. So the posts that are available, we're looping through them. And then we're just passing the post ID. So you've got the ID here. Uh, so post.node.id. So post.node.id. And then we're just passing the class name. This is basically to create grid. So I'm using this to create grid. And then we're just using this post and then passing post.node inside of it. So let's go to the post now. 
So this is the place where we have the um, image available. We're already pulling the image, featured image. So let's comment out the image for now because we haven't got the image yet. We haven't created the image component yet. We'll come to that. But you can see that you've created a link. So you can see that we've got the link component. We are passing the blog slash whatever the slug of that post because I want the single post available on that particular uh, URL. And we have already got that if you remember. Uh, if you go to pages and if you go to blog, we have the slug.js which, which is slash blog slash whatever the slug of that post is and that is going to take care of the single post page. So that's what we are linking over here. And then we are getting the heading. So we're just sanitizing the post.title. So we've got the post.title and we're just sanitizing that. And then we also have the post excerpt. So whatever the excerpt of the post is, so whatever excerpt you pull over here, that's what's going to be um, used over here. And we'll come back to the image in a moment. Okay, so now if you go back and if you refresh, there you go, congratulations. So now you're showing nine posts over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Brilliant. And if you do an inspect element, you know, notice that that's the structure we are following. So let's go back. Let me explain that to you. So we are inside of the blog. That's the page we are on, slash blog. Then we have the layout, which is header and then footer. So that's what we have. Hello, let's remove that. We don't need the hello now. Then we have got this div. So it's coming from the posts. So if you check, this is the div we have, the flex, wrap, all of that stuff. So this div basically the main container. And then inside of this, you've got the post, uh, which is wrapped inside of a div, which has got all of these classes, which basically helps us construct those grids, right? So you construct these grids basically. And then inside of the post, we have got this class name M MB8. So if you check inside, that's what we have. And then inside of this figure is empty currently because we've commented it out, but in a moment we'll do it. And then we have the link. And then we also have the excerpt. Brilliant. Awesome. So in the next video, we'll continue further and we'll add the image as well. And then we'll continue further with the pagination. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give it give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayyad and my Twitter handle is Koditech. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.